Hey folks, how are you doing? Did some uh, did one blade today, the one I showed you yesterday uh, in uh, like midway process. I finished it today and I'm very pleased with it. It came out pretty nice. It's that uh, carbon fiber handle, you know, kind of nice. Uh, what would you call it? Drop point leaf shape, probably drop point, because it has a nice belly, nice kind of downward drop on top, nice uh, thumb ramp. I did the jimping this time very nice secure finger finger choil you know for secure grip you see plenty big for my hand will accommodate bigger hands too it's almost it's just just almost too short for uh, big big hands like our friend uh, anonymous has he held it yesterday and he said that it would be better but he has a huge hands you know he has like three quarters of an inch on me in the width of the hand so you see that I still have uh, half an inch comfortably and uh, it feels great in the hand I like how it all came out the patina, uh, the, the etching kind of like a tiger stripe flame kind of thing I etch 154 on one side my logo on the other did the uh, red liners and uh, the handle you see again that uh, those little imperfections in that carbon fiber doesn't bother me I don't know, we'll see. I will probably be taking this one to the knife show just to show because I think it goes well well with uh, with my knife, you know, with this one, my beauty. I think it's a nice pair of blades in a very similar, you know, kind of themes. Uh, almost definitely we'll get that carbon fiber sheet, you know, whole stack sheet. That's, it just goes nice together with that carbon fiber and the uh, whole sex carbon fiber look alike I think that goes well and uh, again like kind of like a you know glass breaker pommel pry thing rounded off so it doesn't poke you and uh, grounded a little bit this way you know ta tapered uh, just to give that a little more you know what you lose what I lost on uh, rounding it off so it doesn't poke this way can again a little bit making an error so you need to pry it or something or you know you know make it uh, more effective to break stuff or pry stuff instead of prying with the tip it's still not very sharp it's pretty thick it's four millimeter thick blade stack that's 316 that's actually like uh, I think that's ideal for outdoor knife pretty much pretty much for any knife I I'm not a big fan of the thick knives there is no need you know thick knife is for splitting wood and if you're gonna split wood, if you know you're gonna be splitting a lot of wood, just get an axe, carry an axe. It's much more effective. And uh, if you're talking big, you know, woodwork, even the even the weight-wise, it's more effective. The good little hatchet compared to you know big old knife. You can see that carbon fiber has really nice colors on that on that light. Really like how it came out. I wish that it was it wouldn't have the imperfections, those little little niblets. It would be really, really cool. But yeah, next time when I when I will be ordering a carbon fiber, it's gonna be from different side and it should be spotless. Again, quarter inch pivots, removable handles. Pretty sweet. Like it. What is it? Four inch, four, four and a three quarters inch blade. So that's that's nice size. Overall, it's nine nine and a half almost. So we'll see. If I won't get rid of it at the knife show, I'll probably sell it after the knife show. But I want to take this one to, to show because I really like how it came out. It was pretty sweet. Got a couple things from Tough Thumbs. Uh, I, I promise him that I'm gonna do the Kydex sheets for him. It's kind of funny little things. I don't know. I don't remember what he said. What this is? What company or what what maker? I know this one is from our friend Reno at Croatia. It's this little Damascus Pry pry knife or I don't know how would you call it, it's pretty neat just big thick slab of uh, Damascus steel, just a cool little thing and of course you've seen the Tough Thumbs line lock and uh, I'm very tempted, I was gonna do just the liners for my my friction uh, friction folder just the thin titanium liners but I got the hookup from, uh, from our friend Anonymous again with some titanium and uh, I don't know just they just keep teasing me and teasing me and of course a lot of you guys too so I have 0.01 uh, 
uh, titanium here and I might be doing uh, I might be converting this to a frame uh, titanium uh, liner lock titanium liner lock I'll see let's see if I have you know cojones to do that <laughs> it's a hard hard thing to do for me with the freaking simple tools I have to cut this and do the cutout and everything I'll probably give it a try just for the heck of it let's see <laughs> let me know what you think then I have a couple of these thinner ones I will be probably doing when I get a little more time I will be doing some more of those you know one purpose knives just for the fun I think they're really cool and I, I even like it for like a small little pocket knife if you you know it won't stay sharp forever but it's just so damn light like it's awesome <laughs> I like how it is this is too big for it but uh, just that whole idea of it I kind of like then but again like this the big one is for one purpose that's for LEOs military and stuff like that I would not carry it myself but a small little titanium knife I like them I carry that little neck knife on my neck just just as a necklace and stuff like that I like it it's, it doesn't weigh anything and it's just like it's cool it's very nice conversation piece and uh, it's just nice nice addition to EDC and doesn't weigh anything that's the best part about it you don't even have to use it so let me know what you think about them about this one <laughs> and if I, if I should if you have any advice for the you know for the line lock I don't know how I'm gonna tackle that one but uh, I don't think I'm gonna hear the end of it from, from Tough Times and from a lot of you guys too if I won't give it a try. So thank you for watching guys. Remember not to cut yourself. Take care.